Today I'm going to be showing you how to create your own completely free website. First you're going to launch a browser and you're going to go to this website. www.myicomputer.tk Okay, it'll bring you to myicomputer.tk just go down to the section that says free website. Click on that. There's a website that already has these links available. You're going to want to get Dropbox. So click on the link that says get Dropbox. Go ahead and fill out the information and sign up for an account. It'll take you to a screen to where you can download Dropbox. I already have it installed so I'm just going to go ahead and go to where I can download it. Click on download. Save the file. And go ahead and once it's saved, open it up and run it. Click install. Once you've done that, this box will come up and you can go ahead and say I already have an account because you signed up for one. Click next. Go ahead and enter your information. Click next. It'll take you through this, this uh, to set it up. Just want the free accounts, fine. Typical installation. Read the information that comes on the screen. Open my new Dropbox folder now. Go ahead and close out of these other screens for now. Just minimize them. And here's your Dropbox. As you can see, there's already some information that's already in there because I already have an account. Okay, so that step's complete. Go ahead and exit out of that. Exit out of Dropbox, go back. Okay, the next step is to get a web builder. So go back to the website, www.myicomputer.tk. Click on the link that says get a web builder. Just go ahead and click and download the information. You want to go here to download the English version. I'm going to bring up a screen here. I already have it on my computer, so I'm not going to download it. Once you have that completed, you go ahead and exit back out of there. And we'll go ahead and launch. So what you see is what you get. Web Builder. Now from here you can just go ahead and, and build your website. It's a uh, drag and drop, um, fill the information out that's however you would like it. We'll go ahead and insert an image. Um, say we're going to go ahead and pick this image here. We'll put that in there. Get a text. insert any information you want into here and make the, the colors any color you want any kind of design that you want to come up with and do the font size a little bit bigger here so it shows up nice and neat my free website let's move this picture over here okay let's go ahead and save this we're going to save it and let's give it a name my free website save it now you need to publish your website you're going to go to the top left hand corner and hit file go down to publish and it's going to bring up a publishing screen go ahead and move this over so you can see what's going on you're going to click add and you're going to go local folder you can go ahead and give this a name and then you're going to locate your Dropbox folder. It's going to install underneath your My Documents. In my case, my computer's name is mycomputer.tk. So I'm going to go there, arrow down, go down to Dropbox, go ahead and click on that. And it's going to bring up a list of some other folders. What you want to do is you want to find the public folder. 
Hit OK. And that's where you're going to save this website that you just created to. It's going to list it there. Go ahead and go down and click Publish. Okay, so once your site's published, go ahead and click Done. Exit out of your What You See Is What You Get browser. And you're going to locate your Dropbox folder. There is a little icon down here at the bottom right as your Dropbox. You can click that. Or it's going to be located in your files. The files, Favorites, Dropbox. And you want to access this public form, this public folder right here. And right here is the website that we just created. So you're going to go to Index. You're going to right click it. Scroll down to Dropbox. And hit Copy Public Link. Okay, that's going to copy the public link for this folder or this website into your clipboard. All right, so we can go ahead and X out of there. Okay, so now you want to get a domain name. So go to the website, click domain name. It's going to take you to .tk. You're going to paste and then click next. It'll take you through this process of registration and creating your own name. You can go ahead and choose your name here. Whatever you'd like it to be, of course. We'll just call this My Free Website. You're going to enter in the code here. Register for the free domain. Free domain is it's going to require a minimum of 25 hits per 90 days. Or you can go ahead and buy, get a paid domain if you would like. We're going to go with the free one. Click Next. It lets you know that the website is available. There it is. You're going to enter your email address here. Click Next. Now since I already have an account, it's brought up that I have an account. You will need to go ahead and create an account and you will receive an email from them confirming your registration and also you will need to confirm that in order to have your free domain name. So we're just going to go ahead and log into my account here. You will see a similar screen to this. Your domain name has been successfully added to my account. Uh, it'll tell you that you need to confirm your email. So just go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and log into my account. There it comes up. And we'll log in. And then you're going to go here and you're going to see your domains. My domain. List my domains. Now as you can see right now, there it is. So go ahead and copy that if you'd like. Just remember what it is. And that's the end of this process. So next you're going to exit out. You're going to go back up here to your web browser and you're going to type in the name of your newly created website. So we'll just go ahead and do that. And go to www.myfreewebsite.tk. Get that right. Yep. Click enter. And it's going to take you to the website that we just created. And you're online and ready to go free of charge. Any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. And thanks for watching.